seems like we have to go to France for this one. This is a perfect breakfast for gamers. It's gonna fuel you probably for most of the day. To be honest, when I have this for breakfast, I just even skip the lunch. I go straight for dinner. Hi there guys, Ardio here. Sometimes Hearthstone player, but today I'm gonna be a master chef for G2 Esports. I'm gonna teach you how to do some dishes that seem complicated in a very, very simple way. Everybody can do them, so let's get started. Let's see what we have to cook today. Oh my God, guess what? It's French toast. It could have been cat poop. It could have been ketchup wagyu, but hmm, seems like we have to go to France for this one. For the ingredients, I'm gonna use bread, two eggs and a dash of cinnamon. For the savory version, I'm gonna go with American cheese because that's what I have in the fridge. You can go fancier if you'd like, and then ham. For the sweet version, I'm gonna use cream and a little bit of berries, just some nice fruit that, uh, a little bit later, have some patience, please. Uh, just some nice fruit that can uh, give a little bit of extra flavor. And also sauces if you would uh, fancy. Butter just for the pan, let's get started. Okay. I'm setting up the pan to get hot, just like me. Now I'll take a bowl, just simple bowl, two eggs. But first I want to decorate them a little bit. Let's keep this fun. I imagine that this egg is my next Grandmaster's opponent. This one is my boss Ocelot. I need to be careful with this one because otherwise I'll get fired. Very careful with this one. And let's just beat up the eggs. These are Romanian highest quality eggs, or basically whatever I could get my hands on. Splashing them around, let's take a little bit of cinnamon, just a little bit for the taste. You don't wanna go too crazy or else you're gonna cough on it. Maybe choke accidentally, just how I do in my Balrans games, or how I used to at least. Now I'm playing perfectly, obviously. Take some bread, whatever bread you can get your hands on. I'm using some pretty stale, just supermarket bread. If you want to go fancy, take like a artisanal loaf, go ahead, knock yourself out. It's you that uh, decides how the French toast is gonna be like. Bread goes into the eggs. And now the pan is very, very hot, so be careful. Take a little bit of butter and let's go. Swirl it around, woo! It's getting hot in here. First slice of bread in the pan. Meanwhile, I'll take the second slice. And in the pan it goes as well. By the way, one thing to keep in mind, the older the bread is, the more moisture is going to absorb. So again, try to go old rather than uh, new. Either one works. This one is like just very, very absorbing. Okay, let's uh, flip the first bread. Oh my God, looks delicious. I have some nice plates over here that I'm going to use. For the savory version, I will take uh, two slices of American cheese. I just like it because it melts nicely on the bread. I will use the ham after I take the slice on to the plate because I just think uh, the cheese works better on its own in the pan. Okay, they are almost done, they are almost done. I just want to melt the cheese and then everything is ready. I will already take one nice strawberry and put it in the middle, just waiting for the bread. I will use the other fruits, the berries just on top um, to give a nice look to the finished product. Let's just take this one out and I'll put it on the dessert plate, plate. And then the other one can also go out. And now the savory one just needs a little bit of extra time because I want to melt that cheese. Ideally, here, if you have like a lid, you should put it on top, drop a little bit of water just to create some steam that will help um, with the finished product. But either way, I think it's okay. Let me close the fire. I don't want to have a fire hazard in here. And I'll put this one here. You start with the savory normally. Now. A little bit of ham, I'll put it in the middle and I'll try to like decorate it nicely just so that it looks very appealing and appetizing. Again, pretty weird combination to have the cinnamon and uh, the ham cheese, but I think it will work out nicely. For the sweet one, I have two types of sauces. This is sugar-free and this is full of sugar. I will do a nice combination and put a little bit of each. 
just however you like it, you are the master chef of your dish. Um, for the second one, let's get a little bit crazy. Mmm. Strawberry on top and a little bit of um, other fruits just o over it. Start with the savory version and then two or three slices of the dessert version is just like perfect for me. I don't even know what, why I'm using a fork and knife for this one. I think it's just like very sandwichable. Mmm. The cheese perfectly melts in my mouth. The ham hits nicely. The bread is just smooth. You can feel the egg a little bit. One thing that I could uh, add if I wanted to, one more egg probably poached on top of this uh, slice of bread. Let's go. Mm. Let's go to the dessert now. So this is a very simple one, just maple syrup or whatever sauce you like over the bread. I want with a lot of taste. Mm. It's very sweet. And now I think this needs a little bit more whipped cream. Let's go. Do you think all this fits in my mouth? I mean, my mouth is pretty big, but hmm, let's try it. Mm. I love it. This was the first episode of this cooking show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really hope you're gonna try it at home. It's just very simple and you can do it a number of ways. Don't forget to like to show us how much you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also find me and G2 on Twitter, Twitch and every other social media platform. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.